right, you are still watching Ways. Now, all the news that's fit to print is known to have been printed on February 10th, 1897 by the New York Times. That edition was the first to be printed with the slogan at the top left corner of the front page. The slogan has continued to appear ever since on print copies of the New York um, Times. Now, the slogan doesn't appear, <laughs> I mean, for those that do digital version, but if you get the paper, the raw paper, it will tell you that today is the day for everything that is worth printing. Who loves the newspaper? All things news that fits the print. Um, do I love newspaper? Well, I, I didn't have a choice to like or not like newspaper because my late dad used to work in a newspaper company. So mm -hmm. all my life it was newspaper. I didn't have a choice. So but the newspaper is um, a medium to trans... I mean, you have so many news, so many information in one, um, you know, one booklet or one big paper and then all those information is there. And, you know, like I said, it is the world day. So let's just be happy that we have, you know, a medium to get very, very relevant information. Yeah. I believe so. I'll tell you something I like about the newspaper, especially when I was growing up. Number one, I loved the, the, the smell of it. Like when you flip through a new page, like a new paper, it smells amazing. Also, I love the cartoons at the back. I think mm -hmm. it's Vanguard Caricatures. back in the day. Terra Muda, Captain America, or Africa, or Africa. I can't remember. I, I love them. Like, I don't care about... Now that I'm old, I care about the stories. Back in the days, I didn't. I just, wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to read the cartoons. Like, I follow it every week. And then, dear... You know the consultancy page where you like list your problems. She's a, she's a newspaper girl. <laughs> <laughs> she, she studied English. What do you uh, expect? <laughs> Uti, yeah. are you a newspaper girl? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm all about newspapers. So I like paper in general. I like to read books. Like so, I'm not an e-book person. Um, I mean, newspapers are just the feel of the paper. The fact that there's like so much paper. information packed into it, and I think it's probably the most resilient form of media because it's been around since about um, 59 BC so mm -hmm. it really is I mean how many years old is that if you mm -hmm. count it it literally is the oldest medium mm -hmm. um, and it's still going strong even with the online um, print and all of that it's still going strong so I'm absolutely a newspaper person yeah mm. okay on that note what did you find for us in the news Uti So my story, um, let me just read my headline. My headline says, um, Kano government sues FG over Naira redesign policy. So the Naira saga continues. The Kano state government um, on Thursday evening filed a suit against the federal government asking the apex court to declare that the president cannot unilaterally direct CBN to recall the old um, 200, 500, and 1,000 Naira notes without recourse to the, to the FED, which is the Federal Executive Council and the National Executive Council, respectively. I think we have dissected this um, entire newspaper, um, what's it called now, Naira redesign thing. We've, dis we've, we've, we've looked at it from every which way, so I think I'm just going to leave it there. Mm. But it's basically talking about the plight of the citizens of Kano State and how this is really affecting their lifestyle. So um, they're suing the government. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, maybe I would just take my own story as a follow-up from that. It says CBN list money bouquet as Naira abuse, right? I mean, we are talking about, like you rightly said, we've mm -hmm. dissected all angles of this money. So for those that do not know, going forward, they're saying that it is a, is a crime if they see all this uh, money bouquet, or you can call it the money those tower, gifting, the one yeah. they do, yeah, like money birthday cake. cake, money cake, and all of that. Now, all of those things are forms of abuse. It says this was made known via the CBN Twitter handle on a flyer, and it, it, uh, it was captioned, it is your civic duty to protect the Naira. Report Naira abuse today. And so this one now is going to be listed as part Battle. of money abuse. So this means that for all those party surprise uh, companies, that always do parties, uh, treats, and all of that for surprise 
yeah. party, whatever. Mm -hmm. This is illegal. So when you see anybody now on Instagram, they can come and arrest you. So why just to follow up on um, the Naira redesign. Yeah, I'm go like, ahead. why do we so close to Valentine? Because I know <laughs> but, but, a lot but, of people are planning like, I want the 100,000 or 500,000 money bouquet. But why? I, like, I don't see the... the why same. don't you just transfer money to Why don't account? you even just buy So my flower. makeup artist, um, Chinelo, was account. talking behind the scenes. She was yeah. saying that, that, do you know how... I've never received the money bouquet, so I don't know what it mm. is like. But she said, do you know how tough that mm. thing is, is to so, untangle the thing? And, and most times it's... that it even damages the, the notes. You know, some of them don't oh. do it well. Mm. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a form of abuse. So, let's just stay away from anything that would abuse our Naira. Right. Spraying up. So, everything... And folding the Naira, too. So... <laughs> That's a major abuse. Because right now, there. you know, people that are, they've said don't spray money. I saw one very ridiculous thing. They actually they printed, printed <laughs> paper money. Mm. And they transferred the actual money to the people. They mm. printed paper money they and they spray. You just have to spray. Yes. Come on. See, I like that one. But yeah? the funny I thing, like that's it. better. The funny thing is that, like, <laughs> if you check American music videos and even some videos that, or like when um, Americans are doing like parties and they have to spray money, they actually print fake money. Must you even spray? Uh, it's yes. The, it's Moving the on. Fancy yes. Now, please. See, I'm not married yet. When I get married <laughs> and you're coming, spray me money. Transfer spray the money first one to the account <laughs> and then spray me money. I like it. I'm a Nigerian girl. Uh, Thank you. Girl is it time for me to take my news? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Okay, while I love Nigeria, for a lot of people, they are planning to Japa. Japa. Like, it's Japa season, right? So, um, now my news is about um, the US House voting to end the foreign air uh, traveler COVID vaccine requirement. In short, that means the vaccine mandate. As we know, uh, Canada lifted theirs in October 2022. So, right now, US is the only one remaining. And US Travel Association says there is no need for vaccine certification anymore it has since passed but the white house is against it so the house of rep voted and apparently um the republicans have the upper hand with the democrats you know seven of them joining in which is uh, uh, in agreement that the mandate should be lifted so i know a lot of nigerians are trying to travel and you know people some people want to do things the right way so a lot of nigerians are praying can you people just lift to this thing because i don't want to vaccinate and you know mm. yeah so hilarious story quickly <laughs> Yeah. So for my news, um, the Naira Swipe Depositors Fund 100% safe. <clears throat> so the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation has assured Nigerians that depositors' funds are safe, saying that the current central bank of Nigeria's currency swap has nothing to do with people's monies in banks. The managing um, the managing director of um, ND NDIC, Malam Belo Hassan, gave the gave the assurance during the special day at the 44th Kaduna International Trade Fair, which was held in the state capital on Thursday. According to Hassan, depositors need, need not to panic over the new CBN monetary policy as regards to safety of their funds and any, in any commercial banks in the country. This information is really important to go out because, I mean, a couple of people are worried mm. about the safety of their money. If, okay, the money in the bank, I can't collect it. And that's what's causing most of the violence around because a lot of people are not even informed. So I'm glad that this, sec um, this information has gone out. So citizens should just calm down and their money is actually safe. And this is for coming from the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corp um, Corporation. Okay, yeah. oh, on that note, let's talk PR for our small businesses and see how we can navigate ourselves amidst all of this, you know, hard times that is going on in our country. Feel cashless. Which other one again? Exchange rates. Exchange, all of them is plenty. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.